Member for Surrey Cloverdale. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. Carl Featherstone was a paid on call firefighter with Lake Country Fire Department when he passed away October 11, 2020, due to a heart attack as a result of his work as a firefighter. His son James was three and a half. His daughter Natalie was two at the time of his passing. The whirlwind his partner Brianna was going through is unimaginable. I received a call a few days after the tragic event from Lieutenant Eric DeGelder, a Lake Country Fire Department member, asking me if I could help the family. Mr. Speaker, I was a WCB advocate for firefighters in BC for over 20 years, and I was sure I could assist the family. However, I'm not standing here in the House today to speak further to the tragic details, but rather to give thanks to the two levels of government in their roles of protecting families of firefighters whose passing is recognized as a line of duty death. Thank you to the British Columbia government for recognizing firefighters are occupationally linked to the exposures of firefighting. WorkSafe BC stepped up in a very quick manner and provided a multitude of benefits to Brianna at a time when her life was spinning out of control. Thank you to the Canadian government for the recent enactment of the Public Safety Officer Benefit that saw the Canadian government create a memorial grant which is available to families when a line of duty death is recognized. Mr. Speaker, last week I found out the family has received this federal grant and found out this week Carl will be memorialized on the fallen firefighter wall in Ottawa this September. Mr. Speaker, this does not bring back Carl, but it does recognize the dangers of the job of a firefighter by both provincial and federal governments. Lastly, Brianna, you've remained strong throughout this entire ordeal and those of us that have been involved along this journey want you to know you're not alone. Thank you.